what's going on i'm sleepy i'm tired my eyes are red but no i'm not gonna go to sleep until i show you guys what i'm about to show you and make sure that you guys get it right so you do not go through the trouble that i had to go through before i figure this out this your boy look man i'm still over here in phoenix arizona for the two comma club x uh traffic uh program we've been here all day and it's going to be another three days before we go back home and we're learning all of this so i can come over here on this channel and dump all this knowledge on you guys okay here's what i'm going to show you today have you ever tried to <clears throat> excuse me i'm tired and my voice is kind of you know going have you ever tried in click funnels to create a subscription in stripe and it's like it's just like this endless nightmare you cannot get it done and your email support you're not getting the response back quick enough I understand ClickFunnels is a big company with over 65,000 subscribers. You can imagine how long you're going to have to wait before you hear back from sleep. But today, I'm going to put that nightmare to sleep. All right, over with. Whenever you want to create a subscription in uh, Stripe, you're going to be able to do it seamlessly. So sit tight and I'm going to show it to you how to do it. You promise when I show it to you, you're going to show it to someone else who's going to need do not leave it by yourself alone when you get this value pass it on to other people and let them uh, gain from it okay let's sit tight and i'll show you to you all right guys so we over here in stripe the first thing you want to do in stripe is to go to billing click on billing and click on products billing products we're going to create new products so you're going to give your product a name give your product a name it's going to be test one and over here, it says this uh, unit label, you can call it whatever you want to call it, but I'll call it TS1, just say test one, so just call it TS1. Name of the company is test company. And we're gonna go over to create product, create product. All right, so over here, uh, just give your, your product in a nickname, so tests product. And now, here's the, the thing. You have to choose an ID. Do not leave it blank. Most of the video you're going to see out there will tell you to leave it blank. That will screw you over. And you would spend like a day trying to figure this thing out. And it's not going to work. So just do the exact way I'm doing it. And you're not going to have any problem. So give your product uh, a nickname. Test product. And over here, choose this right here. Choose the first ID right here. Well, actually, I've used that ID. Let's choose this ID right here. Uh, actually, I'm going to try it. So, um, choose the choose the first ID right there and come down here. Your products, how much is it? Say like $5. I'll say $5. And see over here, it's, it, it already uh, uh, it populated that uh, nickname, or rather the, the unit level that will give our product. And is it going to be monthly? It's going to be whatever you can choose right here. If it's going to be weekly, daily, monthly, whatever you can choose. And you can choose custom. Custom allows you to put, say, for instance, 10 uh, weeks. So that will make it like every 10 week, all right? But for the for the purpose of these, uh, of these uh, video, I'm going to use the custom. But this because these ones are very easy, they self explanatory. Is it daily you want to charge them? Is it weekly? Is it monthly? Is it every three months? Is it every six months? Or you can do custom. So I'll do custom. So to make it easy, um, or rather to show you guys that you can do something else out, outside of. Uh, uh, so you just choose custom and put it week. Also, um, uh, let's say every four weeks, which is like one month. Otherwise, you can just choose monthly. I'm just showing you guys that you can still do custom as well. And this one, you leave it at zero. And go ahead and say, add pricing plan. Say, add pricing plan. Let's see what happened. Okay, so this did not go through because I already used this ID on another one. But in your own case, it depends if you've used the ID before or not. So I'm going to choose the other ID that's on here already. I'm going to use this third ID right here. All right, guys. When you click on this on this part and the IDs pop up, if you've used any of these IDs, it's not going to let you use it. So for that reason, I'm going to use the number four ID. All right? Okay. So and I already explained all of these places. Uh, does this price plan have multiple price tags based on quantity? So I'll just leave it at default no for that one, and I'll say add pricing. And once that is done, boom, test ad number one is done. Test product number one is done. All right. 
and uh, let's do the other one you go to billing and you will do products like we did before and click on this one all right so I'll click on that that's new and I'm gonna do this one as test 2 I'm gonna put this one as TS2 all right under the unit label and I'm gonna put it as test company as a name that the customers will see on their bill so I'll say uh, create product and I'm gonna call this one test uh, 2 right remember test 2 and this time around because I've used all these three IDs I'm going to use number four. Okay. And remember over here, do not forget to choose your currency right here. If it's dollars or whatever, in my own case, it's going to be dollar, American dollars. And I'll put five dollars. So see, test two is already here. And I'll say, uh, build them monthly. You can use custom, whatever. But I'll say, uh, monthly and uh, leave this at zero. These are one. And I'll just choose add price and plan. So when you go back to your products, all those products you created are there. That's test one and test two. This one I'm going to take out because we did not use it. Remember, that's the one that did not go through. So this this how you delete that one. You first of all have to come down. Well, since we don't have a price plan, otherwise we would have deleted this side first. But just come down here, delete this one because we're not using it. Okay. Hope you guys are still following me. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel because, I mean, this is where you learn what you ordinarily would have had to pay a lot of money for, okay? And I'll give it to you for free, okay? So these are the two products that we created. Now, we're going to create what we call, because I want to show you guys everything, all right? Let's assume you want to create a test product as well, right? Remember, this would be our main product. Maybe I should have called this one's main, but it doesn't matter. I'm sure you guys get it. So these are going to be in the live version of our stripe this is what is going to be now how about if it's going to be in the test version so for that reason i'm going to do billing and i'm going to do switch to this view uh test data and i'll do products i'll say new test one remember we're gonna call that TS1. It has to be the same thing. The same thing that you have in the live version has to be the same thing in the uh, uh, the test version. Okay, we're gonna do this one. Choose the name of the company. Say create product. I remember we call this one TS1. And the first product that we created, we use this ID right here. So we're gonna use the same ID. And we're going to do the same thing over here, which is $5. We say monthly, which is TS1. We're going to say add pricing plan. Okay, again, we'll go to product for the second one. Say add new, click on new. We're going to say test product two, that's test two. This one will be our TS2, name of the company, create product. It's going to be monthly. We're going to call this one TS2, right? That's what we did the other time. TS2. I think that's what we use. TS2. 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 Okay. And this right here, we're going to use the fourth one, remember? Same one you used for the second product that you were creating in the live version. The currency is right here. The price is five dollars it's gonna say TS2 is gonna be monthly remember this subscription right I'm gonna say add pricing plan and now here's what we're gonna do we're now gonna go into our click funnels click funnels let's look for um, I'm gonna just look for one of my uh, funnels with uh, products on them I'll use this one right here First thing you want to do is to make sure that this says Stripe. You want to click on right here and choose your Stripe account. See, my test mode is on. Choose your Stripe account, okay? That's what you guys are going to have to do first. So go back. 
you come to your order form right here. Come to your order form and create your product. Ignore all these other products I already have on here. Okay, I'm just going to create the product. Create product. You have to call this product the same name like you did in that in the uh, in your stripe. So we say test one. And remember to choose stripe. When you choose stripe, now ignore all of this. Just go down to where it says subscription. Okay. When you see, do not put the price. Just put test one or whatever the name of your product is, and click on subscription. Now you have to write in the price over here. Remember we chose five dollars. So write in the price where it says price display on order form. That's the only place you write the price. And you come over here and choose whatever the, uh, you know, the, uh, whatever the, the product description is. I just call it test products. One, and go to your Stripe. See, they're both here already. So you choose this one, test one, which is the first one we did, right? Number of payments, you don't have to put that in. Trial period, you're not doing trial period. This time around, all you're doing is your subscription. I'm going to create another video that will show you, like, if you create, like, trial period and all that. But for this, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to do subscription, right? Do not forget, put the name of the product, choose Stripe. Do So you come down here where it says price display on other form. You put $5. All right, subscription, put the name of your product. And choose down here where it says Stripe line. It would have already populated because you chose Stripe as your payment gateway uh, in the certain area of your funnel. And just click create product. See, it says plan five every month. If you had not done it the way I showed you, it would have said plan not found or plan does not exist or something. So let's do the other one. We do the other product that we created. That one is a uh, test two, right? Yeah. And choose stripe right here. Again, do not put anything where it says amount and whatever. Just come down here and choose your currency, you know, whatever you your currency is it that you are collecting the money on. And just come over here, choose subscription. Write five dollars in here. Test two. Test product two. That doesn't matter. You can just call it whatever name you want to call it. Now choose a plan. It's test product two. It's test two. We choose test two like we had it in uh, Stripe. And uh, number of payments, you don't have to worry about that because you're doing subscription, right? And click on create products. Boom. See, they're over here. Before, it would have given you like product does not exist or whatever if you do not do it the way I showed you. So if you guys have any question, leave it for me below this video and try to share this video with, with uh, whomever you think is going to need it so they can also benefit from it. Uh, subscribe to the, to the channel and hit the bell button so that way when I drop another video, you guys will be the first to know about it. All right, I'll be coming back your way later, but I need to go get some sleep right now. My eyes are heavy and tired. Talk to you guys later.